Everybody, confusion over the possible opening of a new school in Over the Rhine jumped to a new level today. Parents and children showed up expecting a school. Classrooms, teachers, a principal, books. But instead, they found something quite different. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hirsch joins us live from the newsroom with the latest chapter in the saga of Hope for Change. Hi, Jeff. Hello. Well, a few weeks ago, the operators of Hope for Change were trumpeting plans for a new charter school in the same location of one that closed suddenly last spring, but that fell through. So now they are trying something else, but not everyone is happy. And I'm not the only parent who's sitting up here like, what? It's not a school? No, it's not a school. But some parents who showed up for the first day at what was once going to be called Hope for Change Academy found out there was change all right, but not the change they hoped for. That, is that like um, legal for her to have all them students in that class for her by herself? That's what I'm saying. Hope for Change Academy was originally going to open a charter school in the old VLT charter school buildings. VLT was closed by the state for educational and financial reasons. But the state blocked Hope for Change Academy's plans. So today, Hope for Change Arena. It's not going on as a school. It's going on as a, a community center. That's what they're saying. It's, it's a center, not a school. What happened here is that Hope for Change says it is partnering with a suburban Columbus virtual school, online, no classrooms. Turned out the Hope for Change building was just a place to sign up. One parent said if she wanted a virtual school, she would have already picked a different one called K-12. If that's how I wanted I would have signed my child up for K-12 and had them at home. Not here. I'm thinking the school is opening up. These kids been here since 9 o'clock this morning and no, no food been fed to them. Okay, where are they going to eat lunch at? It's not enough room in there for all these kids. A news release from Hope for Change says they're opening an alternative program, talking of certified teachers in small classes. But the Ohio Department of Education says virtual schools cannot be bricks and mortar. No classroom teachers, small classes or large. No wonder some of the parents are confused. I don't understand this. I don't get it. I don't feel it. I'm not feeling this. I'm not. Now a spokesperson for Hope for Change tells Local 12 the group has the building permits needed to provide a community space for children and their families. Community space not a school. And of course other places like libraries have tutoring programs or space where kids can do their homework and maybe get some help. Those programs do not require enrollment in a specific online charter school or private school or traditional public school. For that you can go to school any place. Of course now the big question is you know, how many people at Hope for Change are going to sign up for this uh, virtual school or are they just going to go in there and go no. And those numbers will be filtering in as uh, registration moves forward. All right, right, Jeff Hirsch, thank you. Now, some parents at Hope for Change today told us that they were keeping their children there, but those parents did not want to go on camera. Charter schools, like the online one connected with Hope for Change, are taxpayer-funded but privately operated. Since